Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Another loudspeaker repair, or at least I should say an attempt. This came out of a Transitone Philco PT26, and I've already checked the humbucking coil and the field coil appear to be good. I haven't looked at the schematic to uh, reference the DC resistance, but I read around 500 ohms on the field coil. And of course the humbucking coil, about a half an ohm of DC resistance. It's missing the uh, output transformer. You can see it's rusted up and the uh, cone is uh, used up. See it's broken numerous places. This is a little 4 inch loudspeaker. I'm going to go ahead and take this thing apart. You can see the uh, center pole piece. I'll go ahead and pull that off because you can see the damage to the cone down here as well. I'll try to uh, salvage the uh, voice coil if I can. And the spider, if not, we'll look at uh, recreating one. See if we can uh, get this thing to uh, play again in the future. Okay, I am getting some movement now. And there we have it. Again, not made to come apart. Not the best way to get this out, but uh, it worked. There's the uh, field coil and the humbucking coil. And you can see stamped on the uh, field coil 500, representing 500 ohms of DC resistance. I'm going to look at the open voice coil and I'll need to reproduce. Now de rest the speaker basket with citric acid and water. And the new paper former for the voice coil. Separated wax paper back to the center pole piece. Gives me about two one thousandths of an inch separation. And the new voice coil, 36 AWG wire. And placing the center pole piece back in using shims and, of course, the fill coil, humbucking coil, back in place as well. And utilizing the old speaker spider, and I've got it set. You can see the shims in place to keep everything centered. And using a 5-inch donor cone. Just uh, utilizing the surround and gluing it back together for a fit on the 4-inch speaker. Then I'll reproduce the uh, cone itself using some uh, craft paper. <laughs> 